the next plugin that I want to introduce to you is also one of the most essential and basic plugins that you need for WordPress. But it is really, really important and still very powerful. Uh, it is a contact form and it's called Contact Form 7. I just quickly show you how you can find it. You just enter Contact Form 7, of course. Maybe even Contact Form would be enough. But here you go, you already see how popular it is. Over 1 million active installs and 774 um, ratings. So let's give it a go. Let's install and activate it. Activate. And after this is done, you get a new menu icon here. It's the contact. And here you can operate your contact forms. There is already one default one created for us. And there are a couple of things you notice here already. So first of all, you can create as many um, contact forms as you want. You can just click uh, like in pages and posts and in any other content type as well. You can just click on add new and edit as many as you want. And uh, yeah, you can edit the existing one and you already see that there is a short code. Now this is very, very helpful. Uh, let's first have a look at the contact form one itself and uh, now here it looks a little bit complicated well it not really but it might be unfamiliar to you if you're not coming from web development and if you haven't seen too much of html before so don't worry don't get confused this is this is really simple uh, all it does here is uh, it's creating a couple of paragraphs and uh, in between there are other kind of short codes and uh, you don't have to care about the shortcodes here in general. Um, there are a couple of more shortcodes that you can add. But for most of the cases, the existing ones here are great enough. So what do we see here? We first have your name, your email, subject, your message and submit send. Now the submit send is just a button which says send. And the effect is that a message gets sent. Now this is a contact form as I introduced to you earlier on already and these are just the fields that are visible to the user and by taking away some of these fields you can edit the form very simple now you could just enter a telephone field here as well and you can make it a required field and we can yeah say that it's the name tell 102 and the default value could be something and I can just enter the tag here. And of course, um, you have to put it in a paragraph tag here and then say telephone number or something like this. And you it doesn't have to be required. Otherwise, you just put the parentheses afterwards or just check it. And uh, of course, before the short code here, there should be a break. Actually, all I'm doing here is what you can do yourself as well. Uh, just look at the ex existing examples here and uh, then just copy this. So all I want to do is here to add a couple of spaces to get a great layout. This was even the wrong um, thing here. And... Uh, yeah, so this way you would just enter a telephone field as well. And um, then you have a subject. I actually don't want a subject for the purpose of showing you how to edit it. I leave it like this. Uh, your name, telephone, mm, your message. And we can say, um, well, we just leave it like this. And the submit button should say send. Now, if we save it, then we copy ourselves this short code. We copy it and what we want to do with this contact form. We could actually add it to any part of our website now. But what I want to do is go to the widget area because I want to edit this contact form to the footer area. Now we have already a couple of widgets here and in the first footer widget, so on the very left here, I want to add this contact form. So how, how would we do this? If we look here in the existing available widgets, we don't see a contact form. So how do we do it? 
we just add a text widget to it because text not only understands text, it also understands shortcodes. So all we have to do in here is to add the contact form code and give it a title of contact. This is what is displayed on top of the widget. So we click on save and then we reload our page. Actually, we just go to the home page and we see nothing. Now, why is this? I think I know why this is because we haven't even enabled the widget area, the footer widget in our theme options. Now, in my case, this is the Impresa theme as I introduced to you earlier on already. And all we have to do here is go to the footer section and enable the widget area exactly. And three is good. And I go back to the website and now the widget area should be visible. And on the very left, we have our contact form. As we saw earlier, it is a name field. We can just enter our name. We can enter a telephone number in here and we can enter a message. Now, one thing is really, really great. What happens if I click on send here? Where does it get sent? Well, I demonstrate you to you what happens if we click on it. I click on send and it says your message was sent successfully. Okay, I hope my demonstration works now. Otherwise, I just show you what happens. Okay, it doesn't work so far, but I show you what should have happened. I go back to the contact form settings here. I hope I clicked on save before. In any case, when we switch to the mail panel here, you have a couple of settings that are essential. You already see here, here is my email address. That means any email that will be sent out of the widget, out of the contact form here, when somebody clicks on send, will automatically be forwarded to my personal email address. You can change the email to whatever you want. It automatically takes the email address that you use to register your WordPress when you installed it. Now, and this is the message body that you will receive. It automatically takes the values that were put into the text fields that are visible here in the widget area. Here, when somebody adds a message, this message content will automatically be put in here and you receive this nice layout email. Now, of course, you can change this completely to your liking, which makes the contact form 7 also a really amazing and flexible plugin. Okay, now I had a very short break and again looked into my uh, inbox and here in the spam area, actually, I found the message that we just sent from the widget area. It says, hey Jonas, what's up? And it also says the message body and from and subject. So it completely takes over the values that were put in. Uh, yeah, that, that you can see here. So this this is how it would look. Quite nice, I think. 